Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Even more specifically than that, we are in the Dollywood parking lot. And I'm actually joined today by my daughter, Hello. Anna, who has reemerged here from a uh, on break from college. Yeah. You remember? Remember we used to go to Dollywood all the time. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, we used to keep. I'm excited. I requested this trip. Yeah, she said she yours. wanted. To, she said she wanted to go to Dollywood. Yeah. We used to go in the summer. We'd keep a season pass for both of us, so we would come over here just during the week when I had off work and I was watching Anna. We'd come over here and, uh, and ride some roller coasters during the week. So you excited to be back? I'm excited to be back. Awesome. We got to just got to find our way. There's a little bit of flooding here. Not a little bit. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> So normally like to uh, park here in the parking lot and just go ahead and walk. I normally don't like to take the tram, but they're saying there is no walking to the park today because there is some massive flooding here in the parking lot. You can see, I think that bridge over there actually covered by water. Oh yeah. So all this parking here, this is closed off. They didn't let people park in here because of the flooding. You can see all that oh, out there. <laughs> oh yeah, I got some ducks. The ducks don't ducks don't mind if it floods. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head over to the tram stop and uh, hopefully get into the park. And hopefully the park itself is not uh, not flooded. You yeah, want to get a little closer look over here at the bridge. And you see that the bridge, the walkway, submerged under the river. It was raining a lot. This morning, the rain is cleared up right now. At my house, it was uh, it was absolutely pouring. Yikes! Yeah, we're driving in here. Anna was actually driving her car, and I said, "Anna, look, there's a parking spot." And she said, "Yeah, I think we'll pick a different one." Because that, oh yeah, and, I, and I, I'm saying I, I think she made the right call. I, I would be afraid the car would be picked up and carried down street. These people here are very brave for parking. Actually, it looks like they're moving. That's probably. Probably a good idea. Uh, look over here, you can see this tree here, submerged. This other bridge over here, this bridge is out, at least out of the water. And thankfully, thankfully, it, the rain has stopped. Otherwise, we probably would have to go home because uh, this really can't get any higher. Oh yeah, you see the tram there coming over top the bridge. Board the tram here. Hey, if your feet cannot touch the floor, I need you to scoot it over one seat inward, please. Thank you. Look at all that. All right, so what do you think of the flooding, Anna? Uh, Yeah, never, never been here with, uh, with the flooding. I, it looks like we're going in the wrong direction. I think they're maybe going to the last tram stop to pick people up, or maybe they're going some alternate route actually because of uh, the flooding to get around it. Stay behind that red safety line. All right. After we don't hear the driver say that. Stop near to pick some people up, and then we'll be headed down to the park. Yeah, the creek has risen. Going here over the bridge there, over that flooded creek. Yeah, see this whole parking area is closed down because of the flooding. Yeah, have a wonderful day. Come over here to the entrance of the park, and you can see under this building. Actually, this is the gift shop here. You can see the water flowing there. Pretty, uh, pretty heavy flow going on underneath the gift shop. It looks like they're currently having their flower and food festival here. So I guess we'll just. Uh, what do you want to do first, Anna? Um, don't matter to me. <laughs> don't matter. Don't matter. <laughs> You can see they have the umbrellas out here for spring. 
the uh, ceiling of umbrellas here. Maybe they didn't put out enough umbrellas. Maybe that's why it's so <laughs> floody in, uh, in the parking lot. It is really a cool visual though, all these uh, umbrellas. I feel like the umbrella, the umbrella ceiling has gotten bigger this year. Oh, look at all these umbrellas. Over here doing some construction. The new Dolly Parton experience over there has uh, yet to open up, but it looks like they're getting closer. I think it is supposed to open up uh, before the end of the springtime. It's like the, uh, the new Dolly Parton Museum back there. You can see adding some butterflies there on the exterior. The, the, uh, the promotional material shows like a big giant butterfly in front, but uh, they don't have that up yet. In addition to all these umbrellas hanging over our heads, we have this giant topiary umbrella here covered in uh, butterflies. Butterfly is kind of a, uh, a trademark of, uh, of Dolly Parton. Some more topiaries over here. It's the butterfly topiary. And there was just a second ago, there was some narration by Dolly explaining what the uh, different topiaries were. It says this is actually uh, a topiary of Dolly's mother making the uh, coat of many colors that she sang about because they were poor. They had to uh, make her a coat out of all these different fabrics, kind of patch it together. And uh, Dolly wrote her song, Coat of Many Colors, about that. And this immortalizes her mother in topiary form. Here's the chalk artistry of Jamie Hauser. Unfortunately, with the pouring rain, there's not much left of the chalk, sadly. Over well, here, you have like a meet and greet with a fairy. All right, yeah, coming here. I'm a, I'm, a lot of people think I'm a fairy, but I don't really know what that is. You don't know what a fairy, you're a butterfly, not, not a fairy. Anna, where are you? <laughs> Get in here. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Uh, so if you have, so you're, you, you're a butterfly? Yes, with I'm a, a wildwood butterfly. A wildwood Do you butterfly. you know a place called Wildwood Grove? I've been, I've been. Yes, that's where I'm from. from Did you see Grove? the very big tree with all the butterflies? I've seen it, yeah. Okay, that's where I live. That's where you live? Yeah, but I'm up here helping my friend Jolly with all the festival things. With oh, the it looks very, very nice up here. Oh, okay. thank you. <laughs> keep, up, keep up the good work. You um, it was Flip? Flip, that's Flip, me. okay. And then my sister's name is Flutter. She's supposed to be up here pretty soon, but she's taking her nap because we were working on the garden. So it's oh, it's hard work keeping all these uh, flowers. Well, I hope you like them. I, I love like them. Job. I love Thank them. You. I especially like the red ones. I oh, you like, like the red ones? And I really like that blue patch over there where the Mother Parton is. Yeah, we made that for Dolly because that's her mother making the coat of many colors. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was pretty clever. All right, so Anna likes roller coasters. So I think we're going to hop aboard the uh, lightning rod here. This has gone through several refurbishments. Um, I think they've, they've removed the launch hill, I think was the biggest uh, change recently. And it says the wait is only five minutes. So I guess uh, not too busy here at the park today. You ready, Anna? Let's see if I fit. It's been a long time. Look at this, it locks your legs. Oh. Hold on like this. Beeping. Oh, green light, I fit. Oh yeah. Yeah, the queue here is like a uh, like an like a garage working on hot rods. See all the tools in here. Johnny Revs rev it up. Oh, looks like they've won some awards on uh, what is this? This is a racing award. Oh, there's the welding shop. Is there welding going on in there? Oh yeah, 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 some legitimate welding. Yeah, look at this. There's almost no one, almost no one here. They haven't even filled this whole cart here. Where do you want to ride? Which section? It looks like Anna's heading there towards the back. I don't know if you can see because of the watermark, but 
there, there we are. Mildly mortified. Anna, what did you think of the lightning rod? I liked it. You liked it? It was a little rickety. It's intense because it's like wooden roller coaster. So it's like rough, but it also does like crazy. Yeah, like, like sideways. It goes like this, like this, like sideways. Like acts like it's gonna flip, and then it's just kind of like this big sideways arch, yeah. which is pretty insane. And it does like a lot of airtime. It's like up, up, up. It like yeah. goes, you almost like bounce down the hill. That used to be its selling point, was that there was like a lot of airtime on it. I remember it being like like an insane amount, like 20 to 40 seconds. Is that it? I don't know what the airtime is, but yeah, but you feel it. Like you like airtime? Yeah. It's, I, I, it sketches me, every time sketches me out. It's like the feeling when you're coming out of your seat. Uh -huh. That's, but I think that's why there's like two restraints. Right? Yeah, there's a seatbelt and a thing, like a buck pull down. So yeah, pretty pretty intense. Like this is one of the more wild roller coasters here. I think the other one, the other wooden roller coaster, Thunderhead is probably rougher, but this is adds like the, the near flips. Did we go upside down? I think we did go upside down once. We went sideways. Oh, you were like, but yeah. Like this, you kind of kinda like twist like that, so yeah. yeah. One of the wildest rides at Dollywood. Yeah, you can see the creek here running through the park. So you can see it's really swollen. The creek is swollen, but uh, you know, not not necessarily flooding. You know, not, not obstructing any of the rides or attractions. But of course, if the flood in the parking lot is not enough to get you wet, you can hop aboard uh, this horrible contraption. Yeah, I've rode that a couple times. I've become very, very wet every one of those times. Yeah, that's what I get. Like, yeah. I can get if it's like your last ride of the day. But but then you're in the car wet. But then you're in the car wet. Yeah, I just, I'm not a big fan of like getting totally soaked at an amusement park. Cause yeah, you're right. You either have to walk around all wet all day or then go sit in your own butt wetness in the car. Not happening. There's a shop here inside the uh, the mill. You can actually see that water wheel turning inside here. Oh, you can see the topiary raccoons there crawling up the uh, the tree. A couple there playing inside the barrel. Yeah, look at this little little guy seeking out some garbage for dinner. Here, taking a peek from another angle, over here, you can see that is the uh, that is the Dolly Parton experience they're building right there. That's Dolly Parton's tour bus. They have it parked over here. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, they, they used to be able to tour it. You'd go inside and look around. Hopefully, they will have that back. It looks like they will because it's just right uh, parked over here by the creek. Although, given today's events, they may want to move it further away from that creek. I'm up here to the. Uh, the big red barn where they have the uh, the massive swing, the barn stormer. Oh, here they go. Yeah, this thing's pretty terrifying. Oh yeah, that's the point where it starts to get scary right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so apparently we are riding this thing. You like this ride, Anna? Yeah, I'm excited, I like this time. This is like, there's a version of this in Colorado at Glenwood Caverns Park where it swings you over a cliff. This is kind of the starter version. Nobody would go on it with me. She wanted to ride the one in Glenwood. I did not, but I'm, I'm more, maybe I'll, I'll ride this and then work my way up to uh, Glenwood Cabin. This one is a hanging over a giant cliff. That's so. a big difference. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh. Okay, so the big swing, pretty fun until you get more than like a 90 degree angle going. Once you're like feel yourself like doing that little float in the air, that's when it becomes terrifying. Anna. So after writing that, do you think you could do the Glenwood Caverns cliff? I was reminded of how, like, the fact that you're not just going like 90 degrees, that you're going like further. Yeah. I don't know if I could do the <laughs> I'm definitely not. I will probably never do the cliff swing at uh, Glenwood Caverns. 
Got some music going on here in front of the chapel. This is Robinella. And then a beautiful peacock topiary over here. Look at this over here. This is amazing. This is a beekeeper topiary. No, no, not the bees. See the bees down here. And the giant towering beekeeper there with the uh, bee mask on. Over here is the Eagle Mountain where they have a rescue of injured bald eagles. And there actually is just a ton of bald eagles right there. I see probably about eight bald eagles just standing around. Zoomed in a little bit there. I don't know if you can see all their little bald heads. And this enclosure, they have two non-releasable, non-flighted bald eagles. Brave Spirit PR and Marion PZ. Oh, look at those beautiful birds there. Yeah, there's no flooding here in the actual park, but uh, the waters are a little, little, little faster than normal. And then my favorite ride here at Dollywood, Blazing Fury, their version of Fire in the Hole. Of course, Silver Dollar City got rid of the original version of Fire in the Hole, so this is the closest thing to the original we still have. All right, guess we're doing marathon roller coasters today. Here are the Fire Chaser Express. You can see here how the train is unique in the fact that it backs into the launch station. It launches out, does the roller coaster, something happens, and then it that then it, then it comes backwards into the same place that it exited.
and our chariot awaits. See the train here goes into this uh, gas station here, this gas station where they store fireworks. And then uh, the fireworks explode and it uh, blasts you backwards. blasted out backwards of the uh, gasoline soaked firework firework shed and then they complete the uh, roller coaster ride backwards and head back into the station backwards and this uh, caught my attention when we were up on top of the fire chaser Express I noticed that uh, this area is completely closed off and I could see down inside there's nothing in there right now now previously this is like the uh, pavilion where they would have their Christmas tree, where they would do special events. Prior to that it was a very soggy water ride. I have no idea what they're, uh, what they're doing. It was just completely leveled. I couldn't see anything that they'd uh, build yet. So maybe a new ride coming? Who knows? Say here, pardon our dust. When I'm inspired I get excited because I can't wait to see what I'll come up with next. Dolly Part Dreamer and chief and uh yeah just a little peek in there and you can see yeah just nothing it's all gravel in there right now you see the mystery mine in the background yeah, you can see this covered area of the walkway this used to be like the yeah like the entrance to the little uh little meeting area little event area that is closed off well, it's kind of a bad spot i think this is one of the most classic Dollywood uh, photo ops. I think everyone has a photo op here at the Owls. Hey, who are you? Oh no, it's just a video. Act like an owl. All right, I think up next, me and Anna are gonna try to conquer the mystery mine. I think this was one of our favorites back in the day when we used to come here. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's probably. I liked it a lot when I was younger, but I think now it's going to give me a headache. You think it's going to be a little rougher? Yeah, because don't you like mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that? like you were really excited. When you were a little kid, you always get excited. Now I think you're coming to the realization that it's, it's not good. When you get a few years older, it start, you start feeling the roller coasters a little yeah, more. a little bit. Anna, how are you feeling about the mystery mine all these years later? I feel like it's aged as the wrinkles. <laughs> it's rougher than I remember. It's, it's an older ride. I remember it being around before Anna was even born. So it's over 20, 20 years old. But yeah, that's it's not as smooth. Not as and they actually have changed the course a little bit, I think, to to mitigate some of that. But it's a little you feel you feel every little bit of it. Yeah, for sure. But of course you gotta say hello to old Buzz here outside of the mystery mine. Is he sleeping? He's sleeping today. Oh, Buzz must be in hibernation. Normally he has a big long spiel. Oh wait. He moved there a little bit. 
Oh, here he comes. It's a little quiet. I'm gonna venture back here to Wildwood Grove. Over here you have the Wildwood tree. That's where Flit the butterfly said that she lives. There's the uh, Black Bear Trail here. It's actually closed today, one of the few rides not operating. And it looks like this actually may have been affected by the water. You can see the water, you can see with the mud there where it's kind of looks like it had uh, maybe been coming out here. They've got this area closed off. So it looks dry now, but maybe a few hours ago they maybe had some water issues over here. Hello there. Jacob. Jacob, it's nice to meet you. My name's Tulin, and this is my best friend, Benjamin. Benjamin the Bear. How are you doing, Benjamin? Doing oh, hey. Today. Oh, we do high fives? High five? Yeah. All right. Can you get in there, Anna? All right. It's a pleasure, a pleasure to meet you, Benjamin. Bye. I think we're going to hop on the Dragonflyer roller coaster. Annabelle's never been to Wildwood Grove. This is her first time yeah. in this part of the park, so. I'm excited. That's very nice. All right, so just got off the Dragon Flyer, which is a, a kind of a, a short, short and sweet, a very fun uh, roller coaster, dangling roller coaster, kind of always swinging off to the side. I think we're headed over here to Big Bear Mountain Roller Coaster. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and it looks like there's no wait right now. I think it may have actually been closed down and uh, just reopened. All right, Anna, what did you think of Big oh. Bear Mountain? Um, I really liked it. I thought it was long. I thought it was like Space Mountain. But Space Mountain? In, but in like an but outdoor in, setting with like country music blaring into your ear, which I really enjoyed. Yeah, I like that there's like on-ride narration. There's like, yeah. the whole story is like they're trying to catch a bear. So they're like, ah, oh, the bear's over here, bear's over here. And yeah. then it's like bing, 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 bing. And like the orange track doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> there's like not enough theming. Like I didn't gather that there was a story, but that was my first. Yeah, you're right. chasing a bear. Oh, okay. Well, a big bear. Okay, cool. Yeah, but they were like, here we go, like on the. On yeah, the yeah, it, the on ride audio is pretty fun. It fine. was nice. I liked it. It was very long yeah. too. I like that. Yeah, really long. <laughs> I always like to stop over here at the Timber Canyon Hall of Fame, a Hall of Fame for lumberjacks. I always like to give my respects to uh, the greatest lumberjack of all time, butt cut Billy Christmas. And look, the uh, lumberjack cemetery's back during the Christmas months. They uh, replaced the tombstones with Christmas trees. Here we go, Hickory Dickory's son went out to have some fun. The tree was dead, fell on his head. Hickory Dickory done advertising here for the Smoky Mountain Summer Celebration. Uh, I may come out for that. Leave a comment in the comment section on what uh, celebrations here at Dollywood you'd like to see me come out and visit. I think we're gonna head into the bakery here. Annabelle wanted to try some of the cinnamon bread. See if we can track some down. I've never had it. Never had it? I, I've had it like once. and I know it's kind of the legendary thing to eat here at uh, Dollywood. Okay, so the bakery was out of cinnamon bread. They said it'd be a 13 minute wait. So we figured we'd walk over to the grist mill to see if they had any uh, cinnamon bread. Here is the, uh, the water clock. It's got a lot of water to work with today. And uh, here in the pond, got the topiary frog there grabbing the fly. And a couple of happy turtles over here.
Here are some happy black bears frolicking in the flowers. Yeah, over there at the grist mill here to check and see if they have any cinnamon bread. You can see a lot of water moving. And look at this, yeah, the water comes almost up to the barrier right there. It's also a friendly little topiary duck over here in this flower bed. Okay, so we pay for our cinnamon bread over here, and then they give us the uh, receipt to take into the grist mill to claim our bread. Thank you. All right, got our little box of the famous Dollywood cinnamon bread there. It's got a picture of the grist mill from which we claimed our bread on the uh, side. I'm so excited. You're excited? You said you've never had this? No, I've been in Dollywood like 75 times. I've had it before, but it's been years. Are you supposed to dip it in the icing? Yeah, the icing's, icing's right there. I don't really like icing. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll okay. use the icing. I'm waiting on you. Oh, you're putting your mangy paws all over it. Mangy okay. paws. Good. That's very good, very good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that is a delicious treat right there. Yeah, this is a pretty delicious treat. Finished off most of that. Very fluffy, very sugary, very delicious. And now it is time to exit through the Emporium. Lots of Dolly Parton themed merchandise here in the Emporium, including, apparently she now has a line of dog toys called Doggy Parton. There's a, dog, a Dolly Parton dog shirt. Even have a little Dolly Parton dog hat. The dog toy here says, beg your Parton, because the dog will beg for food and, uh, beg your parton is also a, uh, a phrase that people say. So kind of putting that all together. Beg your parton. The uh, dog section, actually pretty sizable. Little doggy guitars, dog wigs, so you dress your dog like Dolly. In fact, over here, there's a complete Dolly Parton costume for your dog. Complete with everything. Now they don't have a lot of cat toys, but they do have this cat puzzle called Dolly Purton. These are teddy bears here with the uh, color scheme of the coat of many colors that uh, Dolly would wear. Yeah, I actually have a, a several things in that coat of many colors uh, fabric. Baseball caps there, these blankets. Uh, Dolly Parton Funko there. I guess Dolly Parton considers herself to be the Backwoods Barbie. Here's the Dollywood Conquered Them All shirt. Let's see, today me and Anna conquered the Big Bear Mountain, the Mystery Mind, and Lightning Rod. Wild Eagle was closed, otherwise we would have conquered that as well. And uh, we skipped Thunderhead because Thunderhead uh, it rattles your brains. I've been on it before. I've rode all these at uh, different times in my life, so I guess I am qualified to purchase this shirt. Yeah, they have shirts for all the different roller coasters here. There's Big Bear Mountain. I like this, the mystery mine. I like it because it has Buzz, the animatronic buzzard on it. And here's the official cinnamon bread shirt. The sweet vibes there with the Dollywood uh, cinnamon bread. And the building block version of one of the ride vehicles from Big Bear Mountain. And they do have a pretty respectable collection of snow globes here. 
Here is the train. The train was down today. I don't know if that had anything to do with the uh, with the flooding. But uh, look at this one here. This has just got like everything at Dollywood crammed into one snow globe. There's the church. There's the grist mill where we got our cinnamon bread. And there's the Wild Eagle. Again, that was closed today. Oh, look at that. We got the glitter. Glitter in the air. Rosebud. One thing I didn't see in the gift shop is no pressed pennies. First 2024, the year of the pressed penny here on the Carpet Beggar channel. But, and it looks, I believe that Dollywood used to have pressed pennies, but it looks like they're gone. If anyone knows of any current pressed penny locations in Dollywood, leave a comment in the comments section. So headed back out, I am curious to see if the parking lot flooding has uh, receded. And it does look like the walkway is open. Earlier they had the walkway closed because of the flooding. So I think we will walk back to the car. And you can see a little bit of a little bit of a stream coming here through the parking lot. Yeah, all this was flooded along this edge of the parking lot when we came in. And it's all mostly dried up by now. And it looks like we are in luck. This footbridge was covered by running water when we parked over here earlier. The water has receded to underneath the bridge. Still pretty, still pretty full there, but uh, at least we can get back to the car. So thank you for joining us here today at Dolly. Would you have fun today, Anna? I had a good time. Had a good time. There wasn't a lot of there wasn't a lot of weight. The park was pretty empty. We got to ride quite a few roller coasters. It was all in all a good day. We, we went here. We were only here. We were probably about four and a half hours. Yeah, we, we got to ride almost everything. Pretty much got to do everything. So it's always good to come here, like during the week, when uh, you know when things are a little slower. And I guess probably the the scary weather probably scared people away this morning. So not as many people here in the park. Oh yeah. But uh, thank you guys for watching. It's great having Anna back for at least one video. <laughs> Uh, if you guys like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country, film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. Uh, if you like these, what did I say? Oh, I said that already. If you'd like to help support these videos, consider contributing to Patreon, $3 or more. Get your postcard once a month from me to you. Also, selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, doing personalized messages on Cameo. And of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the flooded water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.